them hear us. Okay, so this is module 11 monitoring in the HACCP Intermediate Level 3 course. Now the aim of this unit is to explain to delegates how to establish a monitoring system. And the learning outcomes, by the end of this unit you will be able to define monitoring, explain the need for monitoring, explain the methods of monitoring CCPs, state the requirements of monitoring systems, and identify the knowledge, training and competency of staff with regard to monitoring. So monitoring of controls. Monitoring, the definition, is the planned observations and measurements of control parameters to confirm the process is under control and critical limits are not exceeded. And it's required or they are required to confirm the CCP is under control. Target levels are not breached. Identify deviations. Provide records for verification, complaints, due diligence. It must permit rapid detection and correction. And the monitoring can be manual, automatic, continuous or a set of frequencies. Types of monitoring include audits, visual inspections of premises, vehicles or practices. Measuring, for example, temperature, pH, acidity, alkalinity, or moisture, AW. Competency checks, organoleptic checks, these are your senses, checking documentation and records. Calibration of thermometers. <coughs> Bimetallic stem thermometers should not be used because they are not tip sensitive, because we need to get the tip right into the core, the center of the food being checked, and that should indicate the core temperature. Now we need to use thermocouple temperatures, thermometers rather, and uh, the way we can calibrate them, we can immerse in uh, a mixture of ice and water, and the temperature should be around about 0 degrees C, plus or minus 1 degrees C. And um, we can also use hot water at 100 degrees C, boiling water straight from the kettle for example, or water that we know to be 100 degrees C, and check to make sure that the probe is reading that temperature. So monitoring systems should state what needs to be monitored, how it's going to be monitored, where, who's going to monitor, when it's going to be monitored, and the need for microbiological testing. Staff training for monitoring critical control points. The staff training includes knowledge of HACCP, knowledge of importance of CCPs of monitoring, frequency of monitoring, knowledge of target levels, critical limits, competency to monitor and record, competency to take corrective action. So the key points for that section, we looked at monitoring, the need for monitoring, the methods of monitoring critical control points, the requirements of monitoring systems, the knowledge, training and competency of staff with regard to monitoring. <coughs>